Hi guys, today we're going to use Photoshop app in the iPad Pro. And this is how you remove a background for the person and place them into another picture. First thing I'm gonna do is open the app, Photoshop. On the bottom left hand corner, we've got import and open, click on that. And then you've got photos, click on that. And then it comes up with what photos you've got in your, on your iPad. So I'm gonna click on the background one, which is this, this beautiful picture. That's fine. Now don't forget when you wanna zoom in or out, you just use two fingers on the iPad screen. Now that's fine. Now we wanna import another photo, the girl on top of this. So on the left hand side, we've got that menu. You come right down to just on top of the eyedropper tool. And you've got that little plus, little button with a little, looks like a little photos with a button. It's underneath the text tool. There it is there. And now I'm going to click on photos. I'm going to click on this image, and that's the image I want to do. Straight away, it comes to a transformation box, which is really cool. So on the bottom right, I'm just going to drag and make it bigger because I want to make it realistic. So on the top right here, I'm going to do the same thing again. So make it about that big. That's fine. Might put it about there. So I'm not going to worry about the background because I'm going to show you how to remove it. Hit done, which is the top right. Now, while I'm in here, the top left, we've got the lasso tool. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to, instead of just clicking on it, because if you just click on it, what happens? If you just click on it, this, the tool just comes up like that. That's it. So I'm going to say hold down and then go to the bottom here. We've got remove background. Click on that. And watch how good this is. How good is that? That is awesome. That's really good. Now, there's a couple of little bits and pieces here, like just the on her on the shoulder here of the jacket. So straight away, as soon as we did that remove background, it just mask turned it into a mask image. So I'm going to get the paintbrush tool, make sure I've got a nice small size. I've got a pretty big size there. That's fine. Uh, I've got the white selected, and I'm just going to paint that back in. That's cool. Now the rest of the image is pretty much okay. A bit jagged around the edges, but it's fine. We can fix that up. There's no problems at all. Now I think on the top here, we've got this little part on top of a head we've got to get rid of. So we switch the color of our paintbrush to black and we just paint that up. Oh, okay, so it's that's in the background. I didn't think it was in the background. So on the top right here, we've got these selections of little buttons. Now we've got this one, which is just the uh, different adjustments. We've got the next one up, which just gives you the layers. And the next one up gives you the layers so that you can change them around. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna click on this one with layers. And you're just gonna turn her off, which is on the thing there. Okay, so that's what that is in the background. It's an actual plane. Oh, well, don't worry about it. But at least I showed you how to turn a layer on and off. And what I might do, just while I've got that selected, the top left, we've got that big thick arrow, which is just the move tool. I'm just gonna move that up a bit. Get the move tool and move it up a bit, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna have to make it bigger. So I'm gonna to go to the next tool underneath it, which is that funny looking box, and that's the transformation tool. Don't forget, two fingers on the screen to zoom in and zoom out. You just put your fingers together or you turn your fingers apart. I'm just going to go like this, make it a little bit bigger, and that'll be done. Right, so that's pretty much it. Now, we want to change, we want to do bits and pieces here, like blend her in a little bit more. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the Move tool. I'm just going to move her over to the left a bit more. So it looks like she's posing for a photo, Yeah, where she is on holiday or something or other. So now, okay, with the layers, you've got two selections here. You've got, you click on the black one, which is the mask, when you want to use the mask. We don't want to use the mask now. So what we're going to use, click on the one next to it, which is the actual photo. Now on the bottom right of the screen, on the right hand, right on the far end, right hand side, on the, towards the bottom there, we've got, um, there's three little dots. You click on that, and straight away it comes up with all the different selections and stuff like this. So we're just going to go here, we're just going to go add clipment adjustment. And we've got these options, all these options which you've had on the desktop version, which is a lot easier to do it this way now. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the exposure and the gamma, I'm going to bring that up a bit and we're going to have to change her colour as well. So let's just bring it up a bit like that because it's like obviously a sunset. Now we go back to the actual image and click on that again. Do the same thing again, select another tool, another tool. Those three buttons, um, add a clipment, a clipped adjustment layer. Well, it doesn't say layer, but that's what it is actually. And color balance, I'm just going to change this a bit more yellowy, a bit more orangey really, and a bit more red. So it's a bit more sunburnt, but that's basically what we want here. That's really good. And that's looking great. Now, to flatten anything, make sure that you click on a layer that's an actual photo. If you click on one of these other ones, you don't have the option of flattening the layer because what you have to do to flatten the layer, there's three buttons again in the bottom right. And it's got merge visible. Well, actually worked that time. <laughs> that's really good. Okay, so basically, that's how you do it. Remove the background for someone and put them in another photo with Photoshop on the iPad Pro. If you want to save it, obviously, on the top right, you've got that little save button. You click on that, and it goes quick export, and you can go quick export, and you can save it to whatever you want, like save image. Export complete. Project done. Thanks for watching. Bye.